This is Twit. When someone's, what problem is someone trying to solve when they start using uh, Vista? So um, the problem that Vista is trying to solve is basically is uh, it's an electronic medical record and it's you it's the software you would use to uh, keep patient data and keep a lot of other data, including inventory and you know uh, expo. Uh, incident statistics and whatnot in any large hospital. That's its problem area, and that's what it's trying to solve. Now, you say large hospital. Is it also useful by, for, say, a small doctor's office? Well, that's a very good uh, question to ask at this point. Um, Vista just happens to be uh, too complex for small doctor's offices, but there are many doctor's offices that have actually used it successfully and some that still do. And how long has Vista been around, and what got it started? Uh, Vista has been around in one form or another since 1979. That, so it's that old, and it's been it's been through several incarnations, so to speak. But you know, I guess the the main the main uh, you would say it's it started appearing in the VA. Uh, in an operational capacity, like when or it was actually recognized as operating a lot of the hospital or around 1983. And what were people using before Vista? Well, uh, paper, pretty much. Um, uh, if uh, the we there is an article that I uh, it's going to be in the hopefully in the show notes on yes. the website hardhats.org, and I'll have to talk about uh, how come the ter- we have the term hard hat. How come we have the word hard hats in the in the ecosystem? But uh, they basically uh, there was various centralized attempts to uh, make Vista a uh, excuse me to to make an electronic medical record for the hospital. They were uh, almost invariably based on you know uh, they were center driven and uh, they us- they have not achieved much success. Uh, Vista was basically a big underground effort that people were doing in the field to actually create a, a create a system uh, that will actually work for patient care. And uh, what's surprising was, you know, the system developed in the field actually worked, but not the, the, the system developed by all the contractors and all the central planning never worked. This, uh, this pattern persists to this day, by the way. So this is no, this, uh, we, we, we tend to find out that any system developed uh, usually by the end users tends to work, whereas any centrally planned system doesn't, uh, doesn't work. And uh, Nancy, I want to ask you, uh, as a doctor, what is unusual about patient records and, and the data that you're storing there? I mean, data data um, data uh, management is is a solved problem. What, why is why is Vista unusual and and um, and and why did it have to be created? This is already central data management. Well, I think there's a couple of things, and the technical aspects is I think that uh, the the nature of the data and the speed that it has to be available at makes something like the MUMPS uh, programming system important because it's generally much faster than an SQL database or something else. And the uh, it was basically the language was designed to um, support medical record systems. But the other thing is that it's complex and this system was developed to serve the end user the way the end user needed to be served. And the uh, information inside Vista is extensive, not just in what data is there, but what you can learn about how people work in different settings by all the configuration options and et cetera that there are in Vista. In addition, Vista was designed, I should mention, not for uh, billing and the rest, it's designed for patient care. And it wasn't until much more recently that billing was even considered as part of Vista. So it's unusual in that sense. It's designed to support the user and patient care. 